Close call and now another a day later in the same county. Good evening. I'm Sharon Taswell and I'm Sean Maroney. Thanks for joining us. This crash involved a Chatham County High School student who was knocked unconscious with his car in flames. The man who saved him spoke only to WNCN's Derek Waller. He's live on the roads tonight. Derek. Hey, good evening, Sean. Yeah, we are on Southall Road in North Raleigh, and I'll show you right now. It's rural roads like these that have been the scene of some pretty high profile bad accidents this week. The latest taking place just last night. He was getting ready to die. Jim Edwards says instinct kicked in Monday afternoon when he saw an 18 year old driver trapped and unconscious. Ripped his seatbelt off and tried to get him out as fast as I could before the car exploded. There's burned debris on Highway 902, where Chatham Central High School senior Dakota Stevens ran off the road. You can see the skid marks where the highway patrol says Stevens was going too fast around that turn, overcorrected into oncoming traffic, and then ended up right over here. Edwards and another man helped pull Stevens to safety. For a minute, I thought I wasn't going to get him out of the car. That's how close the flames had gotten by the point of when I got him out. The highway patrol charged Stevens with traveling left of center and speeding. One split second can change your whole life. Cherry Oldham lives by the scene. She says it's the same spot where someone died in a car accident about a year ago. It's just nonstop. There's always a wreck here. That wreck comes just a day after another daring rescue on a rural Chatham County road. Neighbors and an off-duty Army captain are credited with saving three lives on this twisty two-lane stretch. But the state DOT says anyone concerned about traffic dangers can request a study. Speed, traffic conditions, weather conditions, and all kinds of things. And they'll say, you know, maybe we can straighten a curve out, or maybe we can put another extra stop sign in. Edwards wants drivers to be more cautious and hopes in an emergency emergency, other bystanders have the same instincts. I'm not looking for anything, you know, I just, I did the right thing. I did what I, what I had to do. And I did catch up with Steven's parents tonight who tell me their son is out of the hospital. Amazingly, he just suffered a concussion and had to get some staples in the back of his head. Sean and Sharon, I'll send it back to you. I'm glad to know he's recovering. Derek, thank